Uh, here we want to look at uh, an example of calculating average normal strain in two cables here, cable BD and cable CE. Uh, and they, this is due to the applied load, uh, which will cause the, this rigid beam ABC, which is initially horizontal, to rotate clockwise uh, a very small angle. So here what's given is that if this guy rotates an angle of, say, very small angle, as I said, 0 0.02 degrees, we want to find average normal strain, which is denoted by epsilon, in cable BD and average normal uh, strain in cable CE. So, in order to find average normal strain, first of all, what's, what is the average, uh, the definition of average normal strain? So, average normal strain, which is denoted by epsilon, is denoted by, or it's defined as, the ratio of the change in length, in this case, change in length is denoted by delta, divided by initial length. So, if I could find out how much this uh, CD uh, uh, BD, uh, wire BD and wire C are going to uh, deflect or stretch, then I'd, all I have to do, and that would be delta, all I have to do is to divide that by its initial length, which is either 400 for BD or 600 for CE. So here, let's show this angle, and I'm going to exaggerate here and say, okay, this is the angle of rotation here, this is the theta, that is very small angle. Of course, I have to exaggerate to show you what's going on. So this would be how much this cable will stretch, and this is how much the other cable will stretch. So I'm going to denote this by delta B, and this one by delta C, uh, referring to their points. OK, so if I find delta B, all I have to do is to take that delta B and divide by uh, the length of BD, which is 400, and similarly for delta C, I'll divide it by 600, which is the length of C, the initial length of C. So here, using the geometry, it is obvious that tangent of the an angle theta is the ratio of opposite divided by adjacent. So the opposite here, if you just look at this triangle here, that would be delta B divided by this adjacent, which is 600 millimeters. And similarly, we could say the same angle, tangent of the same angle, if you now look at this triangle, right, would be opposite, which would be delta C divided by adjacent, which in this case is 1,200 millimeters. So we can go ahead and calculate delta B and delta C. So delta B would be 600 times tangent of it's a small angle, 0 0.02. And similarly, delta C would be 1,200 times the same tangent of 0 0.02. So you could see that obviously delta C is going to be twice delta B because you have 1,200 versus 600. So let me give you the number. So this becomes 0 0.2094 millimeters. So the units are millimeters. And this would be twice as much, 0.4 roughly 189 millimeters. Okay, so now all we have to do is to use this equation here and take delta B and divide by length of BD and delta C and divide by the initial length of CE, which is 400 and 600 respectively. So let's go to the next page. And so, okay, we want to find epsilon um, uh, BD and that would be delta B, as I just showed you, divided by the initial length of uh, BD. So that would be the point uh, 2094 millimeters divided by the initial length, which is 400 millimeters. So uh, note that actually epsilon is dimensionless, but you could call it call the unit millimeters over millimeters. So this comes out to be about 0.524 times 10 to the negative 3. See, it's a very small number. Again, you don't have to put the units down. So that would be millimeters over millimeter, which is dimensionless. 
And similarly, epsilon CE would be then the how much uh, the uh, wire CE has a stretch, which is delta uh, C divided by the length of CE. So this time we have 0.4. 189 millimeters again divided by 600 so this would be a different number again very small number 0 0.698 0 0.698 times 10 to the negative 3 again unit millimeters over millimeters or dimensionless so remember definition of average normal strain is change in something divided by initial uh, of that change uh, could be in the direction of the length, could be in the direction of diameter.